So, so I would also, you know, want to do a few things with this company. And um, TikTok is one of the places I want to you know, push now, uh, like push challenges to face and so on. Mm. But uh, what I love about you and uh, Wahoo, you guys have just blended in with Zuri Sana. Like, it, it, it feels nice. Like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you know, like you guys have just blended in so nicely and it feels nice, you know. Like how, how are you doing this? Is it because of the kids? Ama? I mean it's it's the attitude. Like like I think our attitude is we don't look and think at you know, I'm older than you, so I know more than you or mm -hmm. more, you know, I'm I'm very we're very easy about just about mutual respect. And I think we've always had it. I've always had it. Like like um <clears throat> I I listen to young guys and learn from them as much as they learn from me. I don't have that attitude of the minimum cool I'm Indian I do and I like I don't know if it's because I'm last born. You know, you're both of us the last born. So not one is So it, it it has helped us musically to also mm -hmm. remain relevant. TikTok in India to come over TikTok, Kaelewa, to Kaplo Nayo, you know, um any new thing that comes up in like summer, we don't judge it negatively. Like ah, this is how I even Genge from came in. I know that many people had a problem with it, but I was like, no, just read it and try and understand mm. what he's talking about and why it's, why it's doing it like that. And then, and then, um, if, you, if you're an artist, you can be able to know uh, if there's any element that can pick from me to something like that. And then I'm the kind of person who, Yanni, it's very hard for me to judge us something uh, just like that. I'll try and understand Okay, interesting. And then yeah. when I interact, the flow like I, but, but most people are like they make a judge oh why, why are people doing this like this they can't do it they used to do it which just a different okay let me take you back to way way back like mukio ogo padichi djs i mean with the uh, isa and stuff like yeah like you know that is that's like a legendary moment you've followed the history of music in our country and uh, back then and then you coming up with the name nameless like sitaki jina yote nataka kujita nameless how did that come about you know you know i got you know i got my name nameless do you know how no 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 i'd love to though wow I, <laughs> yeah i got i called a station it was a it was a competition on a station on a radio station and they wanted um ted josiah who was the biggest producer at that time was like even if you think you can rap you know call the station and and you might get and I was not sure I could rap. I was I doubted myself. At that time I was working in a night shift job and with a guy, another friend of mine, who we were just inputting data. And it was a small radio, you know, I was hearing this radio host, Mogoni Pika, and um, yeah, so I called in. Mm -hmm. And um, they gave me a beat and I flowed the beat, doubting myself by the way, because I didn't really make that talent. And they were like, Wow, that was nice, what's your name? And I had not thought of it. I had not thought I didn't know to know it was me, so I didn't want to give my real name. And um, I just said names. I thought, nice. Then I knew my heart out there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I won the competition. And um, a week later, uh -huh. Mega Rider was released because I, I, I wrote Mega Rider. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the beginning of my career, which is 99, which is literally 24 years ago. So, yeah, so, so Nameless came from just wanting to be anonymous, I've always been very introverted mm -hmm. and it ended up becoming a brand that has fed me and my family for all these years. So I was not initially looking at being a professional or an architect. But in the Angali Sasa, na Madrid, Matatu, Shades. So uh, <laughs> women are Isa, how did you sit down and write boom boom ba boom 